Greetings and salutations, my movie-loving friends. My name is Gilbert Yabara, and welcome back to The Attic Review. On today's episode of TAR, I want to talk about the lost ending of April Fool's Day. This goofy but great 80s slasher is a cult classic because the whole movie revolves around the concept that this is one big gotcha. That's how I've always remembered it, but apparently there was another ending that ended up being removed because of how much it changed the tone of the movie. Before we get to what the hell happened that affected the movie enough to get the axe, let's do a quick synopsis. Muffy St. John is a rich college girl with some erratic friends that join her for a weekend getaway at her newly inherited island mansion. Lucky bitch. Her friends are morons that really like pranks even after the ship hand gets messed up because of their tomfoolery. The antics continue as Muffy has the whole place rigged up to play harmless jokes on her friends until disturbing clues start to surface and people begin going missing. Let's speed this up. Turns out Muffy had an evil twin named Buffy and Buffy is insane and no longer wants a sister so <sighs> right as lone survivors Rob and Kit are about to get it they find their friends and it turns out the entire thing was one big episode of Punked. Muffy set all this up to see if she could run a pranky bed and breakfast blah 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 and then she gets a little taste of her own medicine at the end but it's all for giggles and we end the movie on a happy note. This is the ending I'm sure most of us have ever known but did you know that there was supposed to be more in that last act? According to reports the third act continued after the last prank on Muffy and then the group stays one more night but in the morning everything changes. Skip suggests that they do a prank on Muffy to get revenge but in actuality he is planning on murdering her for real. Of course the gang thinks it's another trick when she gets attacked but that wasn't part of their plan and they quickly realize that she's in true danger. While attempting to stop the assault Rob accidentally kills Skip in self-defense and Muffy loses her mind. And uh, that's it. They end the movie with Muffy singing to her dead brother and oh shit, this is a buzzkill. Another version where Skip actually murders Muffy once everyone leaves the island. Again, what a dark turn after everything we just watched. The big wigs at the studio did not like what they saw one bit. They all agreed. We're keeping this shit light, so take out those evil shenanigans because you're kind of killing the whole vibe of the movie. And do you concur? Because I concur that keeping that dark shift in tone out of the movie was the right call. April Fool's Day may not be for everyone, but those that love it enjoy the silliness and still like the scares and story despite knowing that it's all one big joke. That's its charm, that's its appeal. And having real murder introduced at the last minute would have just lumped it in with the rest of its 80s peers and killed the whole reason why fans love it. April Fool's Day stands out because it fully embraced the campiness of being a prank film with some slasher elements. Big shout out to those studio executives for making the right call and ditching that dark finale and ending the film on a goofy, lighthearted note. And that's it for today's episode of TAR and why I'm glad April Fool's Day kept its original ending. I hope you enjoy this movie as much as I do and thank you for listening to my rants and raves. It has been an absolute pleasure. Please like, comment, share your thoughts, subscribe, follow, and tell some friends about the channel. My name is Gilbert Ybarra and thank you so much for watching The Attic Review. Smile, tiger.